Anyway, there are several methods of poaching an egg. There is the very fashionable vortex method where you have boiling water in a pan, you stir it around and you drop the egg into the middle. A lot of people also say you should put some vinegar in the water for some reason. I don't like this because your egg can come out a bit sort of watery, which then makes your toast soggy. I think the vinegar uh, affects the flavour of the egg and makes it taste sour. I actually recommend a good old school egg poaching pan like this one, which I've had since I was a student and has done great service. I know the impression is that everything in my life is 30 or 40 years old. It isn't. The rest of the household is uh, modern and connected. It's just the equipment in this kitchen is a bit ancient. Anyway, several advantages to using one of these. It's very controllable because by taking the lid on and off, you can control the way the top of the egg is cooked. Steam from underneath comes out of these little holes here. You can also, if you're into this sort of thing, you can add some exotic spices into each of the little cups first before you put the egg in. But best of all, this method means that the eggs come out like the breasts on Botticelli's Venus, which is fantastic. Now, oh, by the way, today's tea towel, of course, it is the Royal Navy. Good. There is a plate in the oven warming up. Let's get on with it. Now, put two pieces of bread in the toaster. I'm not going to toast them just yet. Set the toaster to two pieces. Good, that's turned on. I've boiled some water in the kettle. Put this in the egg poaching pan. Take one of the cups out, pour it through the big hole there. Until, can you see this? Pour it in until the other cup just starts to float a bit. Wait for it. There it goes, you see that? That's just just becoming buoyant. So, we have those in there. Next, you know, I won't put the lid on yet, that's pointless. Right, we need to get... I'll put that on the little heater because it was a bit hot. Butter. Put a tiny bit of butter in each of those cups. You don't need a piece as big as a piece of cheese. You need a, a sliver, sort of. You know, just a bit of butter, that's simply to stop it sticking, but it also imparts a buttery niceness to the finished eggs. So, a couple of scrapes of that into the two cups, let it melt. We'll put the egg pan on the medium sized ring at the back and apply heat, which isn't going to work because, yes, it is! Good God! Right, put the lid on. Hold the heat in. Now, we need two eggs, obviously, to do two poached eggs on toast. And you want to break them, of course. You don't want to break the yolk, because that would spoil them entirely. I always break them into a cup first. Now, this is partly because, to be honest, I used to see my grandmother do this, and she did it because, in her day, eggs were often bad. And this is a way of checking that the egg is all right before you throw it in your cake mixture or whatever. It also means that you can pick out any bits of shell that fall in there, which they haven't on that occasion. Which they haven't done on that occasion. So, egg in the cup, pan coming up to temperature, butter is ready, we won't need the usual, usual cooking shit, we don't actually need any salt for this particularly, we will need the black pepper grinder, and I've checked that it's full. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's uh, take a break and come back in a minute. So I'm not on my best today. I'm not even looking at the right bit of the thing, am I? That's where the lens is. That's where my face is. I don't want to look at myself. I need to look at you. You are through that little hole. Okay, got it. Right, there you can see that the egg poachy pan is up to temperature, the water is bubbling under the cups, the butter has melted. If I just take the lid off, there you go, look at that. Right, let's do it. Right, so here's our previously prepared egg in the cup. Take the lid off, obviously. Remove the cup, give it a little swirl around like that so the butter is all over it. And then pop the egg in, like so. Very, very similar. I'm not going to put it back in the pan yet because I want them to do it at the same time. So here's the other one. Bit of a swirl. Get the butter 
that I still can't remember to look at the right bit of the thing. Another egg, that one looks slightly smaller, and I have, yeah, that one. Break the egg in the cup, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. Pour that one in there. Put that to one side. Right, here we go. Those can go into the egg poaching pan. And they're off. Now, I'm not going to put the lid on just yet because I want to give them a bit of heat from underneath first. Then I'm going, what the hell is that? You see, I said break it in the cup in case anything gets in there. No man practices so well as he writes, as I think Dr. Johnson would like say. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so we're going to let it cook from underneath for a little bit. Keep the heat good and high. I've got my toaster set for two slices. I'm going to do that. This is just experience tells me this because I know how I like my toaster and I know this toaster. That's going to be about three minutes. I'm going to give it an initial blast. It did come out of the uh, fridge, this toast. It was very cold, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a warm. I'm not going to toast it properly yet. Those are going to take several minutes. The trick is to look at the eggs, look for the colour. Obviously the white bit the, needs to be white. It needs to become white and, and slightly rubbery. The yolk, you can't really tell when it's cooked properly until you cut into it. And of course by then it's too late because you can't put it back in the pan. So to be honest, you just have to experiment. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times and I don't always get it right. And I'll tell you what, if I do cock this up, I'll still put it on an employment tube so you can see that even a master chef like me can make a mess of something very simple like eggs on toast, okay? Right, if we look in the pan now, the eggs have been in there for something like a minute, minute and a quarter. You can see the whites are beginning to turn white. This one closest to us, it isn't uniformly white on the bottom yet. Once you see them go white all the way across the bottom, then put the lid on. I've slightly overdone my initial burst of toasting on the toast. I didn't want it to go that brown, to be honest, but it's not a disaster. Always leave your toast upright if you're not eating it, because that stops it going soggy. Got a nice bit of white forming in the egg now, so I'm going to put the lid on. So now steam will be going onto the top of the eggs, cooking them all around. It's a 360 degree immersive egg poaching experience in there. And now there isn't really much to do apart from stand here and look at it in a meaningful way. 